So I had a friend around this time last year, maybe a bit earlier. I won't say his name. It started with Jay and he was from Victoria, which is a place in Australia. We were kind of starting our agencies at the same time and I was like, you know, trying to help him a little bit. And he didn't really see any success with his agency. And now looking back, I can actually see a massive pattern that he really fell into and that the majority of people who start their agencies and fail end up falling into it. So what I want to do in this video is break that down. But before that, if you don't know who I am, I'm Matt. I built an agency and now I'm building a coach business, basically teaching people what I did with the agency and still do with the coach business. And really the whole goal with what we do is we help early stage agency owners hit 10k per month. All right. But back to my old friend, we'll just call him like Jesse. Jesse was probably starting like maybe a month or two after I had started. So he was starting like, you know, maybe like January, February-ish, right? And we talked a lot, like, you know, on like Discord, we we're talking a lot. We were pretty close and we were both like pretty, like, you know, trying very hard to, to make the agency thing work for us. And he was in the Cairo niche. And really the trap that he kind of fell into and that the majority of people end up falling into is purely a mental one. Right, and I know you, you're gonna click off and be like, oh, I, I just want to know about like, the script issue or whatever. But realistically, the biggest thing that you need to kind of be wary of is mental traps, right? And there's a quote from Charlie Munger, that all I want to know is where I die, so I never go there, right? Which means like, all I want to know is the big mistakes that I could make. So like, just by knowing the mistakes, I'll make sure not to make them, right? And so this is probably the big one. And what it is, is a resistance loop. And that might sound a bit wishy-washy to you, but let me break it down to you, okay? So it starts with the initial resistance. So this could be anything, you know, let's say it's you're, you're gonna start doing cold calls today, right? And from, from, from you, you decided right now it's the, the 29th as, as as me recording this. So you decided, okay, every day from now on, after uh, like from, from the 29th and on, I'm gonna do 100 cold calls per day, no matter what, right? So you say that and then you start, right? So it's, it's the 29th and it rolls up and all of a sudden, obviously like, you know, you get scared, you got whatever, and you don't wanna do the cold calls, right? And so you kind of give into the resistance, which is obviously the, the exact opposite of what you should do. And, but you cope and you make something up like, oh, it's just that actually, you know what? Cold calls aren't even good for my niche. I'm actually going to spend two weeks warming up accounts for DMs. And now I'm going to start doing my cold DMs because cold calls aren't good for my niche. So I'm going to start doing cold DMs, right? So you kind of let resistance win and you're, you're coping. But in reality, what you're doing is you're, you're moving away from cold calls because they're scary and painful. And you're starting up cold DMs because they're less scary and you're, and you're pushing it away and making sure that you, that you warm, warm you actually warm up the accounts for two, four, four weeks, maybe a month, just to kind of push it away more. But in your brain, you're hoping and you think, oh no, this is, this is good, this is what I'm meant to be doing, right? So you do that, and then two to four weeks roll around, and you meant to start doing cold DMs. But all of a sudden, something comes up, and you stop doing cold DMs, and now you think, oh, maybe I should actually just done cold calling, right? But this, it could be literally anything. Maybe, maybe you start doing the cold DMs, but you get like, you know, a 3% positive reply rate, which is obviously terrible, right? But you don't, you don't change anything. You just keep on doing it, right? You're kind of self-sabotaging and you're letting yourself not book any meetings. But the reason is because you're scared of taking the sales call and you're scared of taking on a client, right? Obviously, this is the things that you need to be doing to actually like, get going and like actually build the agency. But because you're scared of them, you're going to like subconsciously not want to do it, right? So you're going to, you're going to subconsciously you're going to stop doing this and start this new thing and your, your DM metrics suck, but you keep on doing them, etc., etc., etc. right? You're gonna keep going, keep stopping, and you're gonna keep on self-sabotaging and stopping yourself. And by the way, this entire time, one, two, month, three months, how, how long it's been, I have been like urging Jesse to like stop posting content for the agency, but he never did. So with content and with outbound and with really everything in general, like, you know, Jesse might, might have been like, he might have like been on calls with me, being like, oh yeah, I'm so ready to do, I'm so ready to be disciplined, I'm ready to be like a super, I'm ready to fucking sit in the pain and just do the work that I need to do. But then when it comes to it, he, he didn't end up doing it, right? He, he was facing resistance wrong and he was letting resistance kind of get the better. And so for the past three months, Jesse has been has been kind of facing and giving into resistance in the form of like, you know, he's too scared, he's pushing it off, he's coping, he's rationalizing that he shouldn't do it, etc. right? But now it's three months later, he hasn't posted any content, he hasn't done any outreach, and now he's facing even more resistance because now he has a bunch of doubt and a bunch of emotions coming up because he's really angry and he's really sad that for the past three months he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't done anything, right? And now he's facing big doubt and there's, there's, no, there's no real reason to have the doubt, right? Obviously, he, he could have gotten results, he just kind of chose not to, right? The, the model works great, but it's just that it was just on him. But now he's facing doubt as a form of resistance and he's kind of doubting whether or not it works. It makes him do even less, makes him kind of look into other options even. And that's kind of like how, you know, how shiny object syndrome starts, right? 
but he's facing doubt, he's super nervous, and, and that just ends up, like all that doubt, all that emotion, just ends up with him stopping again, and not doing, like, like you know, not, not posting any content, not doing any outreach again, right? And so when it comes to actually doing all the outreach and stuff, he faces the resistance of like being scared, not being able to do it, and his kind of drive to actually be successful is lower. This is his drive and this is resistance. The resistance is higher than the drive to actually do the work. So the resistance beats it. Right? And so that's when he's doing the work. And when he's not doing the work, he has this constant doubt and constant fear and constant worry and constant all these emotions, which is just resistance. All the way like high up here, trying to make him quit. Right? And that's eventually what happened. Eventually with the, the guy just I talked about, I stopped talking to him probably in October of last year. Right? He ended up just, I, I, I just probably like, like some job now, right? But that's the trap that people fall into, is facing and giving into resistance at the start. And then because they gave into that resistance, they're not seeing any results. And then because they're not seeing any results, they feel more resistance because it's doubt. And they feel more resistance, they give into it, they get results, and it's just that cycle continues and continues and continues, right? So how do you stop that? Because that's, that's the trap that the majority of people get into, whether they know it or not, whether they actually like know what's happening, that's the trap that the majority of people fall into, right? So the way they get over that is very simple. It's to define the need of moving tasks and to do them, right? It doesn't get more simple than that. But the reason that it's difficult is because it's simple and not easy, right? It's simple, but it's not, it's just because it's simple doesn't make it easy, right? It's still, you still have to like, you know, your body, your mind has pain avoidance mechanism. We want to avoid pain, but the goal and like the end result lies in like years of painful work, right? Doing outreach, posting content, doing sales calls, onboarding clients, managing accounts, hiring, etc. It's all painful work that we don't want to do, but it's the work that's actually going to get us towards our goal. So it sounds kind of weird, and you might think, oh no, I'm super, I'm super disciplined, bro, I got this. But you should kind of have the humility to say, okay, well, naturally, as, as a human, I am pain avoidant, right? Like, my, my kind of primary driver for taking action is to get away from pain. But to build an agency and build a business, really, you need to kind of flip that and have instead a desire to go towards the pain because the pain is where the needle moving action that actually matters is, right like doing cold call it's painful like show me someone who likes cold calls and i'll show you a psychopath right that's a quote from like child morgan or something but cold calls are probably going to be painful for you right but they're probably the things that you need to do to actually get ahead and start making needle moving action right so the reason jesse failed and like gave up is because he was giving into the resistance Whereas in reality, the way that you should be kind of seeing it is that resistance is a good thing. If you're feeling resistance, that means you're doing something right. So you should be kind of chasing the resistance. And when you face resistance, that should be a sign for you to go even harder. Okay? So hopefully this has like actually helped you. If it has, obviously, you know, please do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe. And make sure you don't be like my friend Jesse, who unfortunately was doing the wrong things. I don't know where he is now. Or maybe he'll contact me after this video. Obviously, his name is not actually Jesse. But maybe he knows what I'm talking about. But yeah it's really important that you don't fall for the trap because like, this is real, right? This is like the thing that, as I said, whether they know it or not, the majority of people who do fail and do end up like, you know, quitting, giving up all that stuff, quit because of this. This is just me kind of putting it out there and clearly finding it so that now, after you've watched this video, you know what it is, so you know what not to do, right? I started this with a quote from Child Manga, all I want to know is where I die, so I'll never go there, right? Now you know the mistake that is happening to most people, so all you have to do is not make that mistake. Yeah. If you are an early switch energy owner, meaning making between zero and five a month, first link in the description is for you. I hope this video has genuinely helped you because this is very important that you kind of understand. Um, but with that said, props to you. This is like, you know what, eight, nine, 10 minute video. You've been able to sit here and have the attention span to watch this, that something that like, you know, your unconscious doesn't want you to watch because your unconscious self and like, you know, your kind of current self wants you to say where you are and avoid the pain, right? And me making this video is probably kind of bringing up the pain for you, right? So the majority of people would have clicked off, right? You number one, give the attention span to watch this like semi, like probably mostly unedited video. And also number two, to watch a video where it's about pain and something that your unconscious mind doesn't want you to bring up. So good for you for watching this video and I'll see you next one. Yeah, bye-bye.